Do you need anything? An excuse to leave would be great. Oh, great. I forgot my protection oil. Now my energy field is totally exposed. Speaking of exposed, we're not by any schools, are we? Ryan! <laughs> Okay, this is gonna be a weird enough party. Can you please not make it any weirder? We're celebrating the birthday of a dead lady. I can't make it weirder, but I will try. Okay, just go easy on Margaret. Don't antagonize her, okay? Promise me, no dead mom jokes. Promise me you're not gonna do any more of your hippie voodoo bullshit. Okay, no, I'm serious. We've had years to deal with being orphans. I okay? do have a heart, you know. I mean, that's why I got her a cake. Okay, that is pretty nice. What the fuck does this mean? It's a combination of sorry for your loss and happy birthday. Why is there a piece taken out of it? Oh, I got hungry last night. You are an emotional terrorist. Hey, thanks for coming today. Hey, Auntie Pat. <laughs> Oh my God. You're so funny. Hold on one second. Come in, come in. I'm on a call. Hey, team. Say hello to my dead sister's kids. Hey. <laughs> yeah, they're here to celebrate my other dead sister's birthday. Talk about trauma bonding. <laughs> Margaret is upstairs in the kitchen with her emotional support, Christian. Okay, I'll be back in a second. Don't burn down my house. Want to go root around your cupboards for some beta blockers? Ryan, it's awful. Give me a Xanax. Okay, before you ask, Brian got the cake, so don't eat it, okay? These sprinkles look a little suspect. Oh, you must be Angie. I'm Grace. Oh my God, you are so tiny. <laughs> Put it down. <laughs> Come on, Margie May. Some people actually like physical affection. Uh, she sure did say you are expressive. Uh, are you hungry? I have a couple cakes, uh, peanut butter, banana nut. Also, I have some cookies in the oven. Uh, I'm a bit of an anxious baker. Wow. Where did you find a pint-sized Martha Stewart? Oh, uh, Margaret and I met at a grief support group at my church, and she's really opened up a lot. We're so proud of her. Well, if we knew that Jesus was the way to crack her open, we would have looped her up with holy water a long time ago. <laughs> you know, you've got a great aura. Has anybody ever told you that? Like, uh, you probably were reincarnated from a, a prey animal of some kind, maybe like a rabbit or, <gasps> oh, or a lizard. Oh, um, that, uh, uh, I, I, I have to go check on, um, the, yeah. <sighs> Oh, Patty got rid of all her fun pills. Guess this is going to be a drinking party. Hey, are you the nun? Uh, no, just a regular Christian. Hey, I have a great joke about a priest, but I need a sock in a dark room to tell it. I'm gonna go check if your aunt is hungry. Oh, hey, this is a birthday girl. Hey, Aunt Betty, did you lose some weight? Like, all of it? If you touch this urn, I will wring you out like a wet rag. Uh, Brian, you know, Patty keeps her vodka in the bathroom. Really? Oh. <laughs> some concealer could really fix those bags. No, <laughs> no, no. So, I got you a little bit of a birthday present. It's not really that kind of birthday. Okay. Well, what is this? Okay, so it's a link to an app called Lonely Hearts. Their tagline is loving through loss. So let me get this straight. You fucking flip my show, you fucking peon editor, because this, you're so fucking brilliant, you understand that you all of a sudden do... 
audio? What the fuck are you thinking? You have wasted six hours of my goddamn life. Do you know that Richard Simmons is 120 years old? And he is a more of a man than you have ever been? Oh my God, I swear to God, my ovaries could produce more sperm than you could when you were 13. I swear to fucking God, this is why you're fucking fired. I swear to God, I will come after both set of balls, eat them for breakfast, spit them out, put them back on you, and they still are fucking useless! Dude, okay, the opposite of grief is an orgasm. When our mom died, I immediately lost my virginity to a dude named Spike. Sometimes, you just need to get spiked. Yeah? Everyone to the living room. Family meeting. Okay, you probably wonder what... Wait, where's Brian? I prefer this level of intimacy. Me too. Okay, you're probably wondering why I asked you all here today. Well, Aunt Betty's birthday. Uh, to help Margaret grieve. Torture? Hey, are you pregnant? It's not healthy for a woman your age, you know? I'm not. <laughs> Margaret. I need this to be as non-dramatic as possible. But I really need some of Betty's ashes. <laughs> what? Look, I, I know this might come as a shock, but you left the funeral so quickly. Oh, it's not gonna happen. No one's allergic to Sage, right? Look, I know that you're having a rough go of this, but I deserve a piece of her too. I'm not splitting her up. Why don't we all take a breath? <sighs> Angie, stop lighting that shit on fire, right? The energy's fucked, just let it go. Okay. I'm really tired of treating you like a child. We all lost her. It's not the same. She's my mom. No one else is asking I mean, I'll her. take some. Brian! Seriously? I, I mean, if we're passing around a bowl of Betty, then yeah. Hey, well, if he gets some of her, then I should too, okay? That's only fair. She's got a fucking cheese plate. She's my sister. You two are a little lower on the totem pole. We had a bond, okay? She, like, she picked me up from Burning Man. Okay, I really think Margaret needs a break. I'm sorry, who are you? This is a family discussion. Okay, I'm here for Margaret. Okay, not to play the blame game, but I seem to be the only one. Thanks, assholes. I have a family of sociopaths. They are colorful. None of them stuck around after she died. And what now, they think they can just pass her around like a, a joint? Your feelings are totally valid. But... What? Just say it. You remember how in group we say everyone grieves differently? Yeah, so Patty throws a half-assed birthday party and I'm just supposed to give up my mom? No, I didn't say that. But, you know, my gram started dragging me to church when my parents <laughs> passed. And one day, the pastor gave up these dumb little WWJD bracelets, and I immediately loved it. Are you asking me what would Jesus do? No, it's less about Jesus, and it's more about my parents. You know, whenever I'm confused on a path to take, I just think, what would my mom do? You know, what would my dad say? helps me keep them alive. <laughs> or in this case, what would Betty do? <laughs> she would be so nice. If she just wanted everyone in this stupid family to get along. <laughs> oh, shoot. Oh, I knew it. it. It's my boss. I'm... I'm so sorry. I, I do have to go in. You can go. Don't worry about me. I've got this. I'll call you later. You know. 
know, if you want to date your hot Christian friend, that's cool too. No judgment. Well, that was crazy in there. You know, usually I would de-escalate, but uh, my throat chakra's Where been Where were up. you? I mean, I had to lean on a total stranger because my whole family went AWOL. Patty's always busy and Brian is, well, Brian, but I thought that I, I'm sorry. I really am. Okay, I totally bailed. I just, there's no excuse, okay? I know that. It just happened so fast. At least with my mom, we got to say goodbye. Yeah. The pain gets easier. You just, you have to keep moving, okay? Betty told me that. She loved this dumb rock he gave her. <laughs> this is a rose quartz. It's good for your heart. <laughs> you want some? No. Therapists never pick up when there's an actual crisis. It's totally normal to want some of your sister. When Angie dies, I'm gonna make her into a keychain. What? Patty. I get it. You can have some of her. Thank you. You know I love you, right? Do you wanna? No, I'm good. Oh, you big softies. I'll just do it for you. Oh! Mm, you smell like patchouli. Well, if you're all done with your feelings, get ready to thank Brian for saving the day. I don't even want to ask. That better be a pizza. If there's a stripper at my front door, his last name better be Tatum. Oh, hi. <laughs> Come on, have I ever let you down before? Just trust me. I'm Marquis. This is my bodyguard, Magic. Resin Hit Rambo over here said you had some precious valuables you needed weighed and distributed. Yeah, uh, my mom. Oh shit, are we smoking a dead lady like, like Tupac? Resin Hit Rambo? <laughs> my Rafe alter ego. Oh, okay, now all of this makes sense. Nobody's smoking anything in my house. Unless it's weed and I get to have some. It's been a rough day. Totally get it, Lady Boss. We're not here to start fires. Unless it's in your panties. <laughs> what? Sorry for, for your loss. Magic! Oh. Whatever, whatever. What is happening? I don't know. Please ignore him. He obviously needs to retake our sexual harassment course. That's so cute when you're jealous. Anyway, we're gonna use my cute little scale to weigh the remains so that we can evenly distribute it amongst the party. So I'm gonna need a large mirror or, or a picture so that we can cut this bitch up like a ham on Easter. <laughs> Oh shit, did I say that out loud? I'm sorry, I'm loaded. Sorry, Mom. At least you get to see Betty one more time. Can I get some space? Oh yeah, yeah. sure. This is so surreal. Don't worry, I'm treating her as if I were slicing up my own mother. This is the weirdest shit I've ever done on a Friday, man. Uh. <gasps> huh? Yo, what the fuck? Oops. Yeah, I'll go get everyone some cake. Jesus. Hey. Yeah, got your cut. I made it special. Oh, uh, thanks. Yeah. So, why do they call you magic? I don't know. I 
I gotta say, Brian, you actually came through. <laughs> Feels really good to be a hero. Okay, dial it back. You did one nice thing in a lifetime of terror, okay? <laughs> now, are you cutie sure that you don't want to buy any more sassafras? Molly? Ketamine. You know, it's actually been proven in a lot of psychosomatic ecology studies that it prevents trauma, and what's the other one? Grief. Plus, it feels fucking awesome. I'm okay. Thanks so much for the Ritalin. I'll text you later. Hey. Um. Thanks. I guess I owe you one. It's really no problem. I wanted to help you. I know it's been a really rough time for you. And now we only have each other. <laughs> wow. You're right. I only have one request. When I die, if you could take my ashes to LAX, go to the international boarding section, and sprinkle them on all the passengers, that way I can take one last worldwide adventure. <laughs>